Hello everyone, this is Ari Moshe, and this is my first video. I am offering this in great excitement and nervousness. And my friend once told me that when we take steps forward towards our destiny, towards what is really authentic for us, there's oftentimes a lot of nervousness associated with those steps. And it's easy to interpret that nervousness as a sign to back off. I shouldn't be doing this or no, I'm not ready yet. And sometimes it's good to back off and to be gentle with ourselves. But very often that nervousness is just a sign that it is in fact a threshold that we have not yet crossed. And so I don't want to talk too much because, um, well, I'll end up st stopping the video and um, redoing it a lot of times because I tend to be pretty critical. I'm often critical of myself and can get lost in the head. So I want to really start this video off by connecting in the heart. And that's really the essence of my intention in my life and in my work. So I'm going to sing a song for you. And this song very much resonates with the energy of Jupiter and Leo, which is currently stationing to move direct. And, when, and whenever a planet stations to move direct, there's sort of a momentum that's beginning to build where there's an invitation to generate new energy and new direction, new intention. And Jupiter and Leo is really about opening the heart and sharing our truth and appreciating the beauty of who we are. So here's a song that's actually inspired by a, a text message that a friend of mine sent to me. And, um, Honesty makes more love available to flow, to flow, to flow. Oh, oh, oh. Honesty makes more love available to flow, to flow, to flow. Oh, the truth tastes like freedom. The truth tastes like So let's speak a little bit more about Jupiter and Leo. In general, Jupiter is, is just how we're expanding our consciousness to understand more of the truth. And Leo is about self-actualization. Leo and its ruler, the sun, in our chart corresponds to where we are called to be in the center of our life. Loving and appreciating our uniqueness and there's no one else like us. And really specific to Jupiter and Leo, Jupiter anywhere, there's a tendency often to look for answers, to seek some sort of direction outside. And this is where we can kind of look for a belief system or something that will convince us of the rightness of our life. <clears throat> and in effect, that's a way of distancing ourselves from the intuition, from our inner knowing. It's where within each of us, we have the natural ability to tune in to the principles of creation that are operative everywhere and within everyone. So with Jupiter and Leo, there's a strong invitation to have faith and to believe in oneself. 
and to not limit one's potential through belief systems and ideas of, well, this is who I am or this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I've already got it figured out. Or this is why I can't do what I really want to do. There's a lot to pay attention to because Jupiter right now is the ruler of Saturn in Sagittarius, which is where we can really find during this time, and Saturn's going retrograde, a lot of our assumptions being worked on. And Jupiter can be very limiting because we can have these ideas about what's possible, what's not possible, and it kind of focalizes entirely around existing beliefs. And so to really appreciate who we are, the energy of seeking is completely incompatible with the energy of finding or the energy of knowing. And this is what I really want to offer when I speak about sort of what's happening right now with Jupiter and Leo. It's beginning to move forward. And so in its movement towards direct motion, and this is going to happen in less than a week, that Jupiter is going to completely slow down. It's pretty much at that point right now. And gradually build momentum to a new cycle of forward movement. And the invitation is to really acknowledge that we have a lot of love and a lot of creativity and a lot of joy and a lot of wisdom to share in all of our own unique way. And when we're connected to that energy, it doesn't mean we're going to be like a big famous person. It doesn't mean you have to do something. But it's a quality of being, and that quality of being will express and manifest through excitement and joy and generosity and confidence. But that confidence is absolutely necessary. Otherwise, with Jupiter and Leo, without that confidence, we'll overcompensate. Either we'll overcompensate to the point of trying to sort of cloak ourselves with something that we're not, which can really give the impression of um, almost like wanting to make a show out of ourselves in some way because we believe that we have to in order to actualize. Or to not sort of run away from that energy of expansion and growth because honestly it's part of Jupiter that we often don't think about is it's scary to expand. It's, it's scary to take those leaps of faith. And this is kind of true with all fire elements, all fire signs. There's a very yang quality to it. We're moving into something that is new. We're directing our attention towards something that we have not yet experienced. And that's inherently an insecure thing. So having faith, and this is a very important principle, when we look inside for confirmation, we can't look outside at the same time. If we're looking outside, then we are also not looking inside. The two can't coexist, so we can't have, we can't fluctuate. At the same moment, be you know committed to our internal looking, and then also be asking for the confirmations from the universe. Am I gonna get a sign in my dreams? Am I gonna have a vision? Am I gonna get confirmation from someone else or from a teacher? And. Um, that's a big part of my own work. I have a lot of Sagittarius in my chart, and um, a part of why I do the work that I do, what I get to give to others is sort of that gift of confirmation of like, you know what you knew, like you know what you're doing, you know who you are, you know what you want, and you're allowed to live that. You're allowed to give yourself the life that you truly desire. You have what you need within you. I think the essence of what I offer for people is that validation, which is really a space of not not feeding oftentimes this part of this part within us that kind of turns towards other people or turns towards teachers for the purposes of getting permission i try not to feed that part of like okay here is i tell you it's okay it's okay but i try to bring it back to the individual so i do this and th that's my work that's what i do for myself and the more i do this work and this is a part of sagittarius we kind of we internal we complete our our knowledge and our wisdom when we share it because it's something you really get to look at and I think that the last step in Sagittarius is taking one's own advice because it's very easy to speak the truth but to not necessarily live it so there's always this invitation to take it to the next step how can I live this more fully how can I integrate what I already know to be true and so. 
in sharing and expressing ourselves in whatever way is authentic for us because we know from within that we want to, that it excites us. And when that's the foundation, when our expansion and our growth and our leaps of faith towards the unknown comes literally at this, at this moment when there's no one or nothing that's being like, here, go and do this, but it's just this intuitive sense of, no, this is right for me. Then, and really only then, do we find that the entire universe just confirms it for us. This is not an uncommon thing. Synchronicity is a part of creation. It's inherent. And the external always reflects the inner. But when we look for the external to indicate what we should do, we're really missing the point of who we are completely. And so that's a blessing and a prayer that I offer for all of us. That as this Jupiter momentum changes into direct motion, that we really honor sort of the exciting journey of looking within and trusting our own inner guidance first and foremost. Okay, and so that is going to be it for today. I have done a little bit of retakes and I've gotten to the point where I actually need to let go and stop trying to make videos and be content. And maybe I'll close with that. Um, the, the rulers of this current full moon eclipse are both in Taurus and they're both squaring Leo. So there's this beautiful energy here around enoughness that you got what you need and it's good to be content with who you are and to value who you are instead of seeking something more because really there can always be something more. And a part of Jupiter in Leo really is sort of this inherent quality of beauty that doesn't need to be proven. I have nothing to prove. I have nothing to show you. It's just me being myself, but I have to believe that. I have to know that it's just me being me that is good enough. So I'm going to close and talk a little bit about my work and really what I'm doing with my life right now. So I'm trained in evolutionary astrology. It's taught by Jeffrey Wolf Green. And this is a beautiful paradigm of astrology. And the essence of it is it looks at the chart from the point of view of the soul. And it recognizes that everything that unfolds in our life is a reflection of the inner. What I call my work is heart and soul centered astrology. And what I'm discovering and exploring is that any knowledge or information or even wisdom that I might have, it's inherently useless if it doesn't serve love. Otherwise, it's just this beautiful and shiny vessel with nothing in it. So my prayer and my intention in my life, in my work as a teacher, as a counselor, as a writer, is connection to really be here, to really show up, to really connect, to really see the people that I work with, to love them, to love what I do. And one thing that I really emphasize in my work, and I, I share this with my students, is it's not about being a knowledgeable and skilled astrologer. You could have zero knowledge of astrology and just show up with love. And where there's love, there is healing, there's growth. So this is really about using this technique, this context, this information, as an instrument for what is really to me the most meaningful part of life, which is love, which is connection, which is community. And in my sharing, may it be a benefit to you in your own journey in, in you honoring your own self and moving towards what you truly care about. And I think there's this truth. This is also, you can say this is a Jupiter and Leo thing. We give one another permission to shine to go for what we truly want, to live the life that we care about by doing that. The greatest way of teaching is by living it, not so much by talking about it or trying to explain it. So that's my intention here. Thank you so much for watching. And you can subscribe and see, I'll put the subscription button right there. <laughs> and you can check out my website, arimosha.com. And 
my upcoming events and some teachings that I'm putting out. Okay, much love to you. Blessed full moon.